This is Bob Sansevier with TwinCities.com web sports producer Kevin Cusick. Kevin, the Olympics. They're about to begin in earnest. And I just was wondering if, uh, you know, I wish we had a, a, uh, a tall glass of yellow water to, to, uh, to toast the start of the Olympics. It would be refreshing. We can probably get some in this building. Yeah. You know, if you well, how about the, the woman from the Chicago Tribune? She writes about it. She puts on the, you know, the tap and it rattles. Calls downstairs. They tell her, it'll be on in 40 minutes, but don't put it anywhere near your face because apparently it's like acid. <laughs> it can just destroy your face. Yes, yeah, I pointed out earlier in the week, this is the first Olympics where the tap water comes in gold, silver, and bronze. So it's a, it's a, it's a new, new designation for Vladimir Putin's new Russia. Is he good or what? He's good. And actually, the big Putin news today is reportedly the uh, torch lighter. You know, we had uh, last time the, uh, the Summer Olympics yeah. were here, Muhammad Ali lit the torch. When the last Winter Olympics were here in Salt Lake City, we had the Miracle on Ice team. Well, for Sochi, the uh, torch lighter apparently, not confirmed, but apparently is Vladimir Putin's girlfriend, who happens to be a former rhythmic gym- gymnast for the Soviet Union, who competed in the uh, 2004 games, I believe, in Athens. Did she win a gold? I don't know how she Doesn't did. Doesn't matter. Hey, it's his girlfriend. You know what? $51 billion gives you a lot of, you know. Yeah. But what I can tell you about her from seeing photos on the Internet is that she's very flexible. It's good to know. And uh, let's hope that the worst thing that happens at the Olympics is talk of uh, yellow water and uh, the lack of pillows. And the fact that the shower curtains are bringing a good penny That's on the right, black we market. Heard, we heard today from Brian Murphy, whose tout video, first of many, uh, is on our website. Uh, he gave a tour of his room after he got in, like two hours after he got there because his room was not ready. When he got in there, he had internet. He had furnishings. He Very had nice. what looked to the naked eye to be clear water coming out of the tap. Did he drink any? Not on camera. Okay. But he did not have a shower curtain. So it would be a lot of that clear water cascading around his bathroom any time he would deign to shower. Uh, and he, I didn't check. It didn't mention whether it had one toilet stall or two. Sounds like he's really roughing it. Um, well, it was, he was, you know, you know, Mr. Murphy sometimes can get a little agitated. I can imagine the two hours while he was waiting. But, of course, he was waiting with hundreds of other reporters whose rooms were i got to be honest with ready. you. Of all the countries in the world... Russia would be on the list of don't complain too loudly. I also hope that they, once they actually vet and take a look at his, uh, his tout, that you hear from him again for more touts. I would just say this in is the Soviet, best. In Soviet I'm Russia, thrilled. Russia tout you. Yeah. This Yakov is, Smyrnov. Better give credit to somebody with that one. Yeah, that was the- Anyway, Olympics going on. I only care about men's hockey, women's hockey. I do enjoy, because we've talked about this, uh, we both grew up in an area where roller derby was big. Yep. I like the short track speed skating because it reminds me, closest thing to roller derby you'll find. Yes, we watched back in the day the New York Chiefs, the Bay Area Bombers. And the really great thing about short track speed skating is all of them pretty much finish at the same time, colliding into each other left and right. And then the officials determine who gets the penalties and who gets the medals. Yeah. And mostly I think they just kind of flip a coin for some of those. If you remember watching it when Apollo Ono uh, was on his run at the last Olympic or two, uh, every race ended in a complete you know, mass hysteria. And that's why we love it so. And also the oversized helmets are pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I know that many people want to watch curling, but try to fit this in too. Yes. You know what? <laughs> It'll do for now. It's, we're not even we get, starting. It's, it's getting ready to go. We yeah. for, for Olympic banter. All right. We'll, uh, we'll talk more Olympics, more banter in the weeks ahead. Thanks again to C.J. Sinner, our producer, our director. What else would she be? Well, she got everything. Boss. She wrote this. Boss. Boss. Executive producer. Mm-hmm. Exe- there's no executive director? Do? No. Associate director. You want me to stop now? Am I embarrassing you? Why don't you come in front of the camera? Come between Kevin and I so they can see you. Come on. Everyone should, they should see the, the director. Without you, this doesn't happen. I'm pretty sure we're not going to hear any of this. We're going to cut all of this out. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. I won't do it again, then. <laughs> I refuse, without you coming in front of the camera. All right, be that way. This is Bob Sansevier. That's Kevin Cusick. That's CJ Sinner. See you later.